Hey Capricorn, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for your next surprise. This could be applied to your next three months out. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get started here. I do have personals open for anyone who might be interested. Details are in the description box. I have a March special going on right now. It is your luck in March plus two questions. I have some other options as well. So if you guys are interested in exploring those details, like I said, they're in the description box. Capricorn, let's see what we've got going on for you. Your next surprise here. Next surprise for Capricorn. What do the cards say? What do the cards say? That was loud. I'm sorry. Three of Cups. Something to celebrate here. So right off the bat, this is something that's going to make you super happy. Now this could be coming in uh, when it starts to get warm out. You know, it's this is a card of like getting together with people, socializing, uh, coming together. This can sometimes be making sense of things. Sometimes it can represent a reunion. Okay. Typically it's celebrating, socializing, representing a community. Could be dating. It looks really positive though overall. Two of Wands. Mars and Aries. Somebody could have Mars and Aries or Mars and Cancer. Maybe Mars in, or um, I'm sorry, maybe Mercury in Aries or Mercury in Cancer. Justice. Okay, we have Libra energy showing up here. And then we have the King of Swords. This is an Aquarius card. To me, this talks a lot about speaking honesty, speaking truth. There could be somebody bringing you a truth here. Um, Especially with justice showing up, okay? And the two of wands. I feel like you've you've gone out and you've gone for something and you're getting results, you're getting rewards, or you're getting information. Um, it's a very, like it moves from a very fun energy to very serious all of a sudden because three of cups, that's fun. You know, that's fun. And then the two of wands is like, okay, now here are the plans, you know? Uh, so let's talk about this. Let's talk business. Let's talk, you know, something official, right? Justice. I feel like that's what this is. It could be a contract or it could just be like, verbally making something official with that king of swords energy but it's a very serious energy nonetheless you have the queen of wands here this is somebody who's very fun and exciting but in this in this instance i feel like there's something serious being brought to the table okay could be an aries or an aquarius or a libra involved here for some of you two of swords there's a decision it's like decide what you want to do decide who you want to be what you want to do with this information kind of energy here somebody could have their moon in libra moon in aries what is this about? What is this about? Strength. Recovering from something. Some of you, I mean, three three of cups, it can be a reunion. You know, it can be a reunion. And you do have strength here. And the two of wands to me is talking about like, or two of wands, I'm sorry. You do have two twos here. So it can represent a decision. Twos can. But that two of swords feels more like your heart may not feel safe with something here. Or someone else's heart may not feel safe with something. But queen of wands is like, we're bold enough, we're brave enough, we're grown enough to talk about it. Strength card showing up. Do we want to salvage this? It's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of patience, you know. It's going to take trust. It's going to take courage. Like, what do we want to do about this here? But regardless of the situation, it's going to take courage no matter whether it's like a reviving something in love or whether it is, you know, putting something out there in work or business, making a big change, a bold move. It's going to, um, you know, re require some effort here. It's not going to be easy either way if you go here. The Magician is showing up, okay? We have Virgo and Gemini energy with the Magician. This is a master manifester right here, Capricorn. Um, so this is something that you've called in. So why is it showing up as a surprise? I don't know why it's showing up as a surprise here. The Chariot. Okay, let me get a couple more on this. Ten of Wands, Tower. Mm -hmm. The Empress. Okay, uh, we have the Chariot show up. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the Tower, and we have the Empress. It's going to come in at an unexpected time is how this is looking to me. With that Ten of Wands energy, it's like your focus is elsewhere. Your focus is elsewhere. You're putting in work on something else. The chariot showing up. This could be something. If it's a person, they're coming at you from a distance here. Or it's like a phone call from a distance. It's like, hey, I'll be here at this time. You know, it could be something like that. But really, I feel like it's it's coming from an unexpected place at an unexpected time here. It's like you've called in an offer, but the strength or the uh, tower, I'm sorry, it can represent like an ending. It can represent things crumbling. It can represent something really bad, but it's showing up with like the magician, the chariot, the empress. And although you do have the ten of wands here, I truly feel like the ten of wands is just representing like hard work, you know. Um, the empress is Taurus and Libra energy. The tower is Scorpio and Aries. So those energies could absolutely be involved here. But, you know, with the tower showing up, I feel like it's going to come at you randomly. The chariot, like movement, you know, I feel like there's fast movement here where something was once very slow uh you have the empress here it's like all of a sudden things are being nurtured things are growing things are blossoming they're able to be um 
revived for some of you. For others of you, they're just able to grow in a new direction in general that maybe you didn't expect them to be able to grow in this direction or at this rate um, during the time. It feels more like the timing to me than anything. Like something comes in randomly when your focus is over here. It's like, let me not focus on that for a minute. I'm going to shift my focus to this and then bam, here it comes. But whatever it is, it is something to celebrate. Like this may hit after a tower. You may feel like everything is gone. Like everything, like this is irreparable or, you know, everything is, everything's going to crap and then bam, here this comes Capricorn it's crazy so that's what I'm seeing for you uh, I do hope that it was helpful I have personals open like I said for anyone who may be interested of course uh, details are in the description box I keep forgetting you know that uh, when I, <laughs> I updated my phone and ever since then my Canon app started messing up you know it's like it won't let me end my videos on my phone it'll let me start them on my phone but I have to end them on the camera so enough rambling I'm, I'm about to do that thank you all for watching and supporting me hopefully I'll see you next time bye